And a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as once more we are going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. I once more hope you enjoyed the Roy Chance episode I did for you guys. Here we go. Aaron Sanchez actually gets injured. It's only a one to six day injury, so we're going to keep him active. And look at that. The Jays are once more rolling here through the Boston Red Sox. And Shim Fiat, whatever. And, oh no. Marcus Stroman is gone for up to two months. That is deadly we're going to keep him on the 15 day DL just rush him back and now we don't have a good pitching rotation we'll figure that out uh, check the roster first here we go so I do promise if you guys want to skip halfway through this video we'll get to the Melky Cabrera player lock that we'll do so just stick around for that I can promise it'll be good and that'll be how we'll do it. Aaron Sanchez is back in there. Good to go. And that all looks good. Perfect. It doesn't look like anyone's injured. Nope. Everything looks good to me. There we go. So let's sim through the date. And Brett Laurie is going to be out three to four weeks while well, that's 15 DL uh, Tyler Ibera 15 DL geez injuries coming fast and hard now now gotta make the switches to get somebody over there at third base for the Jays that'll be a no-brainer as you guys saw Juan Francisco that's pretty easy that's why we have him up there and the last one Yep, there we go. So he's in there at third base. We are good to go from there. Gonna auto utilize. Yes. And keep active. Now the Jays are going on a mini losing streak here. Oh no. And this just does not get any better. The Jays here as AJ Jimenez going to be out a few days, but we'll keep him active. Finally a win. Chris Getz will be out. Brennan Morrow will be out. Loss. And we can finally get into it here with Mark Burley against Jason Vargas. There, finally. And Sanchez is just tearing up triple A. That's to be expected. As you all know, he'll be up in the majors pretty soon here for the Jays. And look at those averages, looking pretty good, other than Adam Lins and Juan Francisco's, but those home runs are what counts. And Colby Rasmus, wow, what a what an average. Eric Kratz will be gone. Hopefully we get Danny Valencia, that's something I gotta do. And everyone's doing well. DJ Davis is doing fine, even though he's only a 56 in AAA. Justin Higley, our pickup. Jonathan Diaz. Ryan Goins. And not looking too bad. Of course, these two guys are still injured. And Brett Carroll's no longer playing regular because of Justin Higley. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, jeez, brutal. And Christian Lopes. Someone we're looking to feature later on in this year as he's a B potential, so could be that second baseman replacement we're looking for finally. And it looks like all these guys are doing just fine. And Bernardo Murillo looking just fine over there as a setup. Ooh, Diaz is rough nip, but look at Ruiz, he is doing great stuff. So looks like everything's kind of in order for next year. The Jays, of course, are still doing what they're doing. And they're 37 and 20, so we're going to play this game. Jump right into it. And then do. There we go. There, Mark Burley. We're going to scroll down. 
And yes, siree, Melky Cabrera player. There we go. So there we go. We are into the game. And it's going to be the Blue Jays against the Royals. It's going to be an interesting matchup, of course. With Cabrera now out in the outfield, that means we have a lot of outfield to play. Never played this much outfield in the player lock, so it's going to be interesting. And that'll be a quick out, so can't complain there. We are going to get right into Cabrera's next fielding opportunity. And this one's going, 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 and Burley just served up a home run right there. That hurts. Cabrera tried, failed. Can't bring those back. Now the Royals lead one to nothing after a big blast. I don't even know who hit the home run due to being out in the outfield. That's all right. This one's going to not get through the gap. Play by Reyes gets him out. First or second, wow. Great play by Reyes. If he gets injured, we're in trouble. And Melky is batting fifth in the American League, so not too bad at all for Melky. And you'll see here he takes what could have been an easy homer if he would have been prepared for that pitch. That would have been an easy blast out of the park. And now this one goes down, and that should have been laid off instead of that two-seam fastball. And now Cabrera in an 0-2 count. Of course, those Jays wearing those retro unis, just I love them that much. And I love the look of the Rogers Center in this game. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to any of you guys. I love it. I love the Rogers sign there, the Blue Jays on the other side. It looks great. And now Cabrera's trying to hustle this one out, and he's not going to be able to get there in time, even with the dive. And that will be an out number two. So now Cabrera out in the outfield again. This is going to be kind of a theme of the player lock. Is a lot of outfield for Cabrera. And this one's going to be fairly easy. Didn't make it look easy, but it was. And we're good to go from there. As Noriichika Aoki will get the at bat. And Cabrera with one out here in the top third looking to get this ball. And he's going to drop it. And Aoki goes right to third, or second. And then I still don't understand how all this button throwing works, and I always throw it to the wrong base, so there's that, I guess. I, I thought Cabrera caught it there. That's why I had the confusion. In the air to left center. And that one couldn't have been any easier. Two steps left and a simple catch. So yeah, like I said, a lot of outfield in this one. We're not even a third of the way through the game yet. and We've played probably six appearances in the outfield. So buckle up for that. It's going to be a little bit boring. I don't really know how to commentate outfield. Especially not when you're A, fooling around, and B, trying to be serious. And Melky just not seeing the pitches today from Vargas as he lays off. No, he didn't lay off, sorry. Fouls off that one. And now he'll line it right to the shortstop. That should have been a base hit if he could have gotten it two feet higher. But, hey, let's play some more outfield. Yeah, not really. So, let's go. This one will be straight back, and that was fairly easy. Three steps back, one to the right, and a catch for Melky Cabrera. Now Lorenzo Kane at the dish for the Royals at the Rogers Center here. As the Royals lead, the Blue Jays one to nothing. And this one's going, 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 going right into Cabrera's club as he makes the catch along the wall. And hey, now finally, a not bad again for Cabrera, his third one of the night, hoping to get on base and do something productive. And he'll finally lay off a good, a bad pitch. That cutter looked to be almost in the zone, but it was just quite a bit low actually. And Cabrera will be late on the curveball. 
And the pitch. Cabrera's going to pop it up. And that'll end the inning. Cabrera got jammed there. That should have been at least a single if he would have gotten on top of it a little bit more. And Omer and Fonte, wow, we've been doing a lot of outfielding for this guy. I don't know what his obsession is today, but he's doing it. And that'll be in the left field again. And an easy catch for Cabrera to end another inning. Half inning, sorry. And Cabrera will get another at bat. His fourth one of the night here in the bottom of the eighth. Finally, bottom of the eighth, as we've been through so much fielding. And he's going to drive this. This is going deep. And this is going to the wall. That's a double at least. Maybe even a triple. Cabrera's going to stretch it. He's going to slide. And it is indeed going to be a triple for Melky Cabrera as he flies around the base paths. Now, Jose Bautista with a solo homer in this one. He has a chance to drive in an RBI and get this lead to 3-1. to one. So Cabrera with that triple, that's a way to bust out of a big slump. And nope. Bautista won't offer at that one. Pitch, and Bautista swings and misses there. He looked to be gunning up to take that one out of the park. Now, oh, inside on Bautista. He didn't like that one that, at all. So as you see, Cabrera looking, looking, and that'll be low. Three and two, full count now. Edwin Encarnacion batting 319 on deck. Look at that Blue Jays bench. And that will not be productive as that was just a foul ball by Bautista. Now, this one's going to get away, but Bautista's going to take the walk and Cabrera will stay at third. Now, as long as the double play doesn't happen here, we should be good to go. As Edwin Encarnacion with a single tonight gets a step to the plate with a chance to do something big, extend that lead to two runs, get it a little bit more comfortable for Mr. Casey Jansen, who should be entering the game. And Bautista almost gets picked off over there at first. I mean, that's a theme I've seen a lot of times just playing random games that you guys haven't seen me play, just to experiment, get to know the team a little bit better so as I can tell you a few stories but Batista was safe there and this is a ball to uh, nothing doing and, one thing you can't do here and we are into the last little leg of this video just to tell you it's not going to last much longer and he's going to ground it and this could be a double play no, Encarnacion on the fielder's choice, safe at first. Cabrera scores, and we've got the chance to put away this game for Jansen. I don't know what number save this would be for Jansen, but it would be huge, and that's never a good sign, as that one's good as gone. And Jansen serves up a home run, but closes out the game, and that... We'll finish it off as Jose Bautista is your player of the game for this Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode player lock with Melky Cabrera episode. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're looking forward to new episodes coming out very soon. As always, please subscribe. Watch the last episode. So long from Yak City.